that's a way to break the f***ing transmission. That is cool. That'd this, be the first for me. Me too. And it's a what? A miner's cat? Miner's cat. They call them stuff cats. Yeah, but I think the official name is the miner's cat. It's actually the state cat of Arizona. So he only has... He only has one way to go, and that's your way, so he might rip your face off. Oh, he's kind of cute looking. He's just chilling. All right, well, let's leave him alone then. Yeah, he's just, so, this is, a line for me. this is not where they uh, just hang out, right? I mean, the guy's going to die, I would imagine. Ooh. Cool. And so they come in here on purpose? Yeah, they live in mines. No sh Wow. Yeah. How the f can they see? Well, they go outside. If I can make them well, yeah, but they have to get outside. I'm like three feet from them. Yeah, I wanted them to come out where I can get a picture of them. There he goes. Be nice. No, I'm not. All right, we got a we got a picture. Leave him alone. You got a good one up there, Kevin. Yeah, I got a video right now. All right, leave him alone. You're scaring the shit out of him. Very cool tail. Cool. Hey, go ahead. I've never seen one. Yeah. Beautiful tail. Yeah, that is, that Beautiful. Is a gorgeous tail, isn't it? That's cool. All right. Well, if there's nothing there, I'm gonna yeah, stay here. Go I don't want to chase him and have him fall. <clears throat> yeah, that's really neat. He might off himself. That's first. Mine eleven style. First for you. Yeah. I want to go up to you though. Yeah. Well, I'm too close to the edge. Look at that stream. You have a you you're weird, Kevin. Wait. Why, wait, why wait. Are you married to a woman? You, Mr. Jihadi, you're calling me weird. Yeah. No. Sorry, my friend. Oh, well, maybe not by today's standards. So today on Cooking with Kevin, we're gonna talk about dry aging meat. Right here we have a wonderful cow. We've quartered it up and we're gonna let it sit in this mine. We're actually in a mine, maybe three hundred yards or so. And mines are great places to dry age your meat. You have very little insects, maybe just a couple bats. Uh, you've got very dry air. There's no rain or anything like that. So this is, it almost accelerates the typical speed of dry aging. If you bring it to a mine like this, we have everything hung up with an old rock bolt. It's quartered up. And so we're gonna inject it. I got an injector here. You always wanna inject your meat for the greatest amount of flavor. Okay, so one thing that we really like to inject with, believe it or not, it's amazing, some Dr. Pepper, so the football version too, the Super Bowl version, it's great. Get the air out. And just, you're just gonna inject the meaty part as you go. Stick it deep in there. And just get Dr. Pepper everywhere, okay? Once you do that, you do that, repeat that process for every every piece. And I would let it stay in here for about six, seven months or so. Come back and we'll do another video when this is ready to go. And we'll show you how it tastes. So that was 
So that was your main drive belt off of the engine. Was yep. Boy, Yeah, well, I've got audience in here. I don't think it's here. Oh, it's locked on the outside. I was going to throw those two in the corner. I'm going to work our class. Oh, I'm sure there's stuff outside, too. Oh, yeah, she's got compression, too. Generator's moving. That's uh, crazy. Things we do. Yeah, I think my way was a little easier. <laughs> and it's coming out. Just about. So is this something that, uh, is, is there a specific diet after you take your COVID shot? This is something you make on the back of a Corolla. Discharge, pre-digested. Mm -hmm. So Derek, Yo. Uh, explain to people who don't know, uh, like taking a shower when you're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, well, this hotter is hotter than hell, actually. Okay. You would think it'd be cold. It's not. It's hot. Mm -hmm. Burn your stuff. Burns your junk, but it's very nice. So even through that temporary pain, when you walk out of there, it's yes. kind of a refreshing feeling. Yes. Very refreshing, nice. I rec highly recommend this to anybody who will not get the uh, portable shower. Maybe adjust it so it's not so friggin' hot. Let's see here, temperature. Oh, it's already down. It's down all the way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's down all the way. It's, uh, so even though you're burning your skin off, it's still yes, it's worth it. Yeah. Good to know. First degree burns, they go away fast. You'll be alright. This is what happens when you have a guy that has no farming experience try to close a cowboy gate. How you doing there, Boxy? My leg is cramping. Behind that solar panel. Uh... Many unbearable hours later. Glad we got our vaccine before it came in this place. It was nasty in here. It's probably crawling everywhere. And you can even change the speed, just the manual transmission. Old flathead. Well, I'm glad everybody's vaccinated in this group. And we all, I'm glad we also got the same exact vaccine, so. We're not going to be cross-contagious. Yeah, imagine that if we had different vaccines and the va uh, we started like attacking each other. Right. Uh, I'll scare the owl. There he goes. He just did fly the other side. Oh, now he's coming out. He's right beneath you. Wow, that's a big owl. Two. Yeah, it's a mating pair. One for each eye. Wow. <laughs> Who? Get double the talent. Who? 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 Oh yeah, they're pissed. They just looked at me. Not great. Hey, rabid. Hey, when you're dead, yeah. No, he has a he's a COVID vaccine. That takes care of rabies too. 
it was a little more slack here. Don't worry, the owls have been vaccinated. Well, I hope so. That well, won't we, hurt it. We could talk get about your it. anal lube out. We could talk about the, it. The, uh, you ready? The stuff with the lidocaine in it? Yeah, the lidocaine will keep the tire from screaming. <laughs> Two hours later. You gotta pull it out hard, like quick though. You can. No, don't worry about it guys. We'll put the other spare on and I'll get it swapped out in town tonight or tomorrow. Here's a head frame, steel head frame, there's two shafts. This is where the uh, the drum hoists were. These are probably all enclosed and everything. You got this cable here, this isn't one of the cables for the hoist, it's just a cable to support the uh, structure itself. Very big steel head frame. It's a debris pile. I can't really. Debris. Okay, it is choked. Can you come over to this side, which looks clear, and see if it choked all the Yeah, if you could get around whatever this is, which looks like you have to, might have to remove a plank or two. All right, so which do we have? Yeah, it looks like the wall caved in in it. It's plugged. Look over and see how undercut it is. Where you are. Be careful. This is stoptastic. I wonder, do you think this was an added all the way to here? And then they eventually, or do you think they made just ran the track along this ledge? No, I think this was, at one time, this was not open like this. Okay. Tell you what, I'm just gonna go down to the bottom. Let's re-rig it. I'll scope it while you re-rig. And then I'll know if we can go underneath. And the second person can go on this and head that way if I can. Does that work? I think so. Well, I don't know. This way. 
I'm not super afraid of heights, but I don't like standing. Well, it's just loose shit. So yeah. You get, by the time you hit your butt and you realize it, you're already gone. You're What's this mine name? Little Fanny. Inside the stope. You can see they had some levels here. And they're following this vein all the way down. 2,000 feet, I think. 2,000 feet. We're inside where they mined. We're on top of kind of an island. So we're seeing if we can get in, but we can't. So I'm gonna uh, ascend up to this track See if I can make my way over to that drift level. See what's in there. All right, so we're at the top. There we're climbing up to, but you got about 10 feet of nothing. All right, so just made it across this. We're gonna do a virgin view here of what we have. We have no idea. So we got drill steel, some carbide caps. There must be some poop there from an animal of some sort. Never been back here yet. Got one light on. Two lights on, three lights on. Or shoot. I'll make sure there's no. Oh, I'm kind of on a false floor here. I'm not going to climb over that, but that goes straight down and it continues. All right, at least it continued at one time, but it has now turned into just straight up, just stopage. So. That's unfortunately a dead end, but at least uh, now we know. It's a chain there. But this is a man way. Ooh, I might get a little bit up here. Ooh, yeah, that's kind of a mess. Kind of a mess. So unfortunately this goes nowhere, but at least we know. It would have not been great if we left and always wondered yeah, this is just bad area. So I was saying false floor right underneath here. It goes down. The only reason I'm standing here is there's wood here holding this rock up. You can kind of see it as well right there across this whole thing. It's just a false floor. So, all right, we're going to head back out of here and go from there. So I came up on this miner's cabin and uh, you can see the foundations are all pushed over. Yeah, those storms coming through. So the foundations are pushed over because of all the snow. The pressure on the hill, that snow pushing down over at least a hundred years. I mean, this is actually this was mined 1895 to 1916-ish, so well over a hundred years old. But it still lasted. But it's you know who knows one season away from getting. Pushed over, pretty sad, but pretty neat. at a <clears throat> wood picket fence. There's a chimp, uh, looks like a chimney that was in there, maybe fell fell through the floor, but uh, pretty neat. Bet you this is a pretty badass place back in the day, 1900s. Starting to rain now. Hoping I can squeeze inside somewhere, get out of this weather. Oh man, that is so cool. There's the other boys. There's Jason. Maya. We had about a, I don't know, mile hike back to our 
rocks. It's still raining. Just got back. This mud sticks to your boots. All that mud you see, the dry spot, dry spot. It's all on the bottom of my boots right now. But we're back and we'll hit up another mine. So with all that lightning we had earlier, this plane here has been circling the area. So we imagine either there is a fire or he's looking for potential fires from all the lighting that we had earlier. But he's been here at least 20 minutes so far, so I'm pretty positive that one of those lightning strikes out there caused a fire of some sort. So maybe a little further on in the trip, we will check it out. Here's another mine here. This is one of the houses. Um, this is an adit here. We believe they hauled material up from down below, which you'll see here in a little bit, and brought it out to this level. What's this one called? Mine? And an adit. A couple hundred yards to a decline. Still got the utility cart here. So you can change the angle of that so it's flat as it goes down with that uh, little winch there. It's ready to go. Tons of air coming out of here. I repel that. At any point you want the redirect off. No, I think this side is the best way to go. Okay. Keeps it out of the tracks. And like you said, worst case, that sucker comes down. Yeah, but just stay to the left and you'll be fine. Everything looking good? Yeah, you're right. I'm not touching here. So what he's saying is that's that. The way to go. So this is what you call like a, a plug or a dam for water that they use inside the mines. Um, most of the time they're not natural, but they can be natural. This one isn't. But they'll use part of the mine and dam it up like this with concrete and use it for water supply. So really snowy areas like where we're at now um, all that runoff will come in here and they'll basically use it as water storage so there would be a plate that would go right there and they've got the valve and the pipes coming out so they can use water whenever they want wow ready to blow Time all together. Wow. Diamond core drill. Left so, as is. What else can you tell us about this, Maya? Air power with water at its Yeah, be air powered, and then they have water, of course, to remove the chips from the core. And then you just advance it. This motor would drive everything oh, okay. forward. Oh, yeah, you can see the chain right there. Yep. yep. And then you back it out. Put on another length. There's a couple lengths over here. And here's your control, I'm imagining. Left, forward, and back. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Incredible. It's just sitting here, just like somebody took a break. Wow. Amazing. Pretty cool. So we're in this mine here. It's pretty old, and you see <clears throat> some miners' graffiti, you know, from time to time. Initials here, initials there. This mine has more than I've ever seen. So there's a hanging wall. It's going to be up here on the left. And it just goes and goes. I'm going to try to turn down a light. Try not to blow it out so much. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, that should work. 16. 
1916. Got some drawings of, you know, who knows, carrying wood or basket. I'm, I don't know. But this hanging wall, you can see down all the way to them. Just goes and goes. <clears throat> I'm kind of curious to look up later and see if this graffiti or the names maybe match some other graffiti that I've captured in mines near the area. Look at this hanging wall. Just goes. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. It's actually kind of creepy. 70. So I think the oldest I've seen is 16. Latest is 70 so far. This is for ladies only. Looks like they somebody else crossed it out. Up here, 26. It just goes. Goes and goes. Experienced mine electrician. Pretty cool. Hey, what do you know? A hanging wall with graffiti. This one's extra jam-packed with fun and flavors. Man, I would just take you all day to catalog all this and figure out what the hell is saying. <clears throat> There's a little miner right there. And then I don't know what this guy is. Oh, he's like a one of those Joker clowns, maybe. 18, I don't know about that. More counts, counting ore cars or loads. Ooh, look at this. This ore car, no undercarriage. <clears throat> hey, more graffiti. Circle around. Does it? Wow, look at that. <clears throat> no plaque. That's usual. Oh, it does circle around. They're very cool. Oh, this guy's kind of neat. Smoking a pipe or something. Those are some big timbers. 12 by 12. Pretty much just did a circle. Yeah, circle there. The mine or the, the ore car is right back there. Pretty tight turn here. Yeah. They probably had to grease these rails real good to get that cart to go around it. That's probably why it's discolored that way and because of rust. So this was like a blocked off for some reason at some point. Somebody busted through. Not us. As you saw. Starting to get a little icky here. Bunch of ore shoots that we've been seeing. That's a potential. Yep. We'll go up that on the way back.
Oh, wow, I like the ceiling. Look, look at this track. Remember that tight turn in the motorbike? Yes. It was 180 degrees. Oh, wow. It's not as tight, but... Yeah. Yeah, very tight. There was another one back there. You could see where it was greased because it was so tight. It's a fairly big room. Ooh, big room. Let's see if I can light it up some more. Hard to tell depth. Got some airlines. Here's some paperwork from American Smelting and Refining, 1946. Hmm. Cut off what they ordered, but yep. Yeah. 46. Wow. Oh, and here's some more pegs. So we haven't seen these in this mine, but we've seen them in other mines. Instead of doing the graffiti with the dots and their with their lights, they would have a like a um a pin and they just move the pin down and that's how they would count. Sometimes this would be ore, that would be waste, etc. Explosive report 1918. 1918. What's back there? We just keep them Kevin just open. Stop. Yeah, open stop. Cool. Yeah, pegboards were uh, much safer than using your carbide lamp. Getting into some rougher stuff here. Oh, shit. This is like War Eagle style. So, this here, here is probably for greasing those rails. Yeah, don't breathe. Well, look at this tight turn as well. And that's it. You, yeah, and that's the manway up. We want to take this manway or that other manway, huh? Okay, I'm not touching it. Oh. Hell no, not this one. So it's a maybe. All right, so Jay's headed up. We were just noticing how pretty it is in here. Um, walking by, I can see this here. It's probably oh, not going to shine for the camera. <clears throat> and uh. Asterisk, I am not a geologist, but that is what they were after right there, which is a Galena. It's a silver lead compound, and that's what they were after here. And so that's what's in here, these pillars. And then same with right here. That you see right there is the ore that they were after in this mine. And I left it more for stability than anything else. But there is still plenty of that here in this mine. But that's the good stuff. I wish you could see it out in the camera, but it's just glistening. Pegs or pegboards we were talking about. That's cool. 20, 30, 40, 50. Yep, actually, cool thing about this one. On it's actually have a peg. It was there, it's pretty it's neat. Like a, like a Hundred year old peg. And then I think uh, Maya's going up here. Sorry. Yep. He said it breaks over at 90 degrees. Mm. Found this really awesome little car. Operates. It's got four wheels and everything. Great shape. Four car ride. Longest potentially. Oh. Holy crap, dude. What happened? I don't know. The stall. Box. The starter's out. Pull it up, pull it back. Oh, there's a couple on the flange here. It's, yeah, it's usually on the inner side, though, is the problem. It rolled perfectly for a minute.
Whew. That was awesome. Got a cinder block room. You don't see that all the time. Oh, so this was a uh, a plug here for you know ventilation to divert ventilation or something like that. Looks like it was taken down. Oh wow, and a slusher, slusher motor. <clears throat> Can't take that off. So there's two cable sets. One goes one way, one goes the other, and it drags. Oh, it's right there. It is right there. That's the slusher bucket, I believe, a technical name. And it just drags everything back and went into the Grizzlies down into buy an ore chute somewhere. You also do not see those very often. Very cool. Shoot, that thing looks like it was 120 volt. No, it's not. Very, very cool. This is one of the top five coolest mines I've been in. So we're back at the main haulage tunnel. Very cool. Got a track switch right here. Switch directions. Very cool. Go right or go left. We'll uh, go left. Little miners' quarters there. Very cool. Oh wow, it comes back together. I wonder why they did that. Oh wow, this is a two comp two rail wide at it. Wow. I don't know why they split like that and then split again. There's a jack leg holding that up. I don't know why. Oh, this is incredible. Too wide. The only other time I've seen a one too wide like this was at the AJ mine in Alaska. This is cool. Yeah, unexpected, a pleasant surprise. Oh, so this kind of makes sense. This is a big ore dump right here. They would switch to the left track to pull ore from this while not holding up the main line, bringing stuff out here. So that was kind of just a, a side jolt to um, not interrupt traffic. And there's the other switch for coming back. Wow. So this switches again, right and left. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. Air powered mucker. Mm -hmm. Hoist. Oh, wow. Oh, incredible. Some other truck in 12B, baby. Amco 12B. Beautiful. Wow. Just the ceiling. Yeah, look at the ceiling. Gorgeous. Oh, this is beautiful. Look, look at this is beautiful. Look at that work. To have an arch. What is it? One, two, three, four, five sides? Here. I don't know geometry. Is that like yeah, part of an... Eliminate the far, the far end with your spots. Part of an octagon, I guess? There you go. And I can get the ceiling too. Perfect. One, two, three. Looks like the inside. All right. Oh, there, huge. everybody. Yeah, that's a freaking awesome yeah. picture. This is great. This place oh, is yeah, got oh, it. Oh my god. That is beautiful. Look at that. I know. I'm getting video oh, still. Shit biscuit from hell. That is a beautiful. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. This puts Tonopah to shame. The Mizpah. With the 45s. <laughs> so, wow. These are different. I don't. I have no idea. Oh, the pumps, maybe? I'm not really sure. Welding rods. Glad we walked down here. Yeah, this is a pleasant this surprise. This is worth an extra five minutes. Oh, this is a lighter for an air motor. Oh, okay. That could be for the mucker or for a tugger. Hell, it's a bunch of big ones. More of that HCPE pipe. The data line stops here. Oh, guys. Cool, but not cool. Yeah, not that. Darn. Several hundred more feet at an angle we could actually climb. That's what sucks. Yeah. We could have climbed down because it was underwater. Release the H2S. Oh, still just awesome looking. Look at that. Look at the stairs. Those aren't typical. Uh, those are beautiful looking stairs. You don't, you don't see them like that. 12 by 12 timbers at least. 14 by 14. Cut off right here. Interesting. probably crumping out there. 
Oh, this is awesome. Here, come back here if you could, Derek. We'll take a shot in the other direction.